The OnePlus Open has a pretty big issue, and I'm going to talk about it today, and it's about missing apps or disappearing home page. Let's get into it. Have you ever opened up your phone just to find that all your apps seem to be missing? You get a blank page? Well, I did, and when I did, I started to freak out. You know, first thing I did is the common things is look to see what's going on, and I'd swipe side to side, side to side, and there was no additional homepage. There was just nothing there. Now I did swipe to the one side, and I saw the news feed, so it was there. Then came back. Then I decided to long press the homepage and check my uh, widgets and homepage setup, and I could see that there was just the one blank page. So yeah, my homepage disappeared. All my apps gone. So I went ahead and also, of course. Check to see if my apps were there. And of course the apps were there. So for some reason, my screen just became blank with no apps. My setup, everything gone. So what do I do? I go on and I start searching Google. I start searching YouTube. What happens when the OnePlus open homepage seems to disappear? All your apps are gone. And I couldn't find nothing, believe it or not. So then the thought came to me, okay, just restore your phone, you know, restore your backup. And then that's when I realized I had a rookie move. I never backed up my OnePlus Open. I've had it for a week, week and a half, I guess. And I set it all up, but I never backed it up. That was dumb. Okay, that's a rookie move. Whenever you set up a phone, new or whatever, you want to make sure you back it up so that you don't have that issue. So I spent the painstaking time resetting it up. You know, it takes a good 30, 45 minutes, an hour. To get all the apps that you want on the home page and then I actually separate everything and put all my apps in groups in folders and name them what I want just to organize things perfectly the way I want it so I had to go and do that all again put it again put the widget on and everything and finally got it to where I want it and then I backed it up smart move Mark <laughs> so I backed up and guess what everything was good running fine then three days later I wake up in the morning, open it up, and boom, blank screen again. I'm like, what in the world happened? I couldn't believe it. It did it again. So then I put myself on a mission and realized, I got to solve this, and I got to let everybody know how to solve this. But it seemed like nobody was having the issue. But this time, I opened up Microsoft Edge and used Copilot to do a search for me. I asked Copilot, what do I do when my OnePlus open randomly loses the home page everything disappears all the apps and it came back with some options one of the first options it told me of course is reboot your phone which i did in the past i went ahead and did it again just to see i restarted the phone and still all gone now the interesting thing I, I forgot to mention was it said this is a known issue on the oneplus open so what's interesting is i'm not the first one to have this issue but i was the first one to report it or search for it or something i don't know i couldn't find the issue anywhere else the second thing it told me was to go into develop options on the phone and check to see if force desktop mode was turned on well what force desktop mode is is on the oneplus open you can actually plug this in usb to hdmi to a tv or monitor and you can use it like a desktop very similar to Dex. Now, I have not yet tried that mode out, but what I had done is I had gone into developer options and turned that on because I did a little bit of research on how to do the desktop mode. So I turned that on and some things happened, totally forgot what I was doing, and I just hadn't gotten back to it. And so after the first time this happened, I didn't even think about it, didn't realize. So after Copilot told me to do this, I went ahead and went in and sure enough, it was on. So I turned it off. And then I went in and decided to restore my phone. Now, when I backed it up, the OnePlus opens a little different. The OnePlus, you can back it up on the device itself. It's called cloning. So I did that and I backed it up the previous time. So this time, all I had to do is go in and restore it. And you can actually choose what you want to restore. You can restore everything or just what I did was just restored the apps because that's what was missing. So I restored that and boom got my apps right back on my home page again it did not restore the widget which is the wow weather app that i like it didn't restore that and for some reason it did not restore my app pairing that i like to keep on the home page or they call it app grouping but it did restore all my folders with all the files in it and all the apps that i like on the main page 
which is perfect because that's what takes all the work when setting up the phone. Putting the app pairs on there, that's nothing. And putting the widget on there, that's really nothing. So my answer to you is, if you have an issue of your homepage going, first thing you do is you wanna make sure you have backed it up. And if you haven't backed up your phone lately, back up your phone and you can back it up on this device or back it up to Google, which I do both. So if something happens to the actual device and I need to restore it and I can't get to the device itself, it's nice to have it backed up on Google or whatever backup service you might use. So that's the first part of this fix. And then the secondly is check that desktop feature in the developer options and make sure force desktop is turned off. Now, I don't know if that fixed it or not, but I haven't had the issue in the last three days. However, if it does do it, I'll find out because this week I'm going to check out the desktop mode in the OnePlus Open and compare it to Dex from the Z Fold 5 and see if you really can get a desktop mode out of the OnePlus. So watch for that video. And when I do, I'm going to intentionally leave the desktop mode turned on and see if that same issue happens again because it could just be a glitch and it could be an issue with that desktop mode because the desktop mode in there, if you look, it says beta. So I can't really blame OnePlus for that because they do acknowledge that it's a beta version. And if that's causing the issue, so be it. Just make sure to turn it off when you're not using it. So I have more information for you later. I hope you got something out of this video. If you did, make sure you smash that like button and show me some love. And while you're down there, leave a comment if you've experienced something like this or if you had another resolution to this issue. Let everybody know and I'll share it. And also, if you've never subscribed to the channel while you're down there, please subscribe so you don't miss out on more information on the OnePlus Open and other devices. Thank you for hanging out with me. Until next time, God bless. Thank <laughs> you.